video, we are going to show you how to create a new ticket. So when you want to create a new ticket, you can just easily click on the plus sign right here at the top of the screen. And when you do so, a new screen will open, the new ticket screen. So I can easily select a company right here, or if I'm not sure uh, what the company is called or how to find it, I can just click on this icon right here and it will open the uh, company selection screen. Um, if the company isn't in Autotask yet, I can just easily add it by clicking on the plus sign right here and it will open the no new company screen and I can add it in my Autotask database. The same goes for the contact. I can select it right here or I can um, open the selection screen right here with this button or click on the plus sign to add a contact to the uh, Autotask database. Um, after we've done both, you will see uh, on this side of the screen, the right side of the screen, that a little bit of information becomes available. So I can see right here uh, the company name, the manager, the account manager of the company, and um, which, which tickets are open right now and in the last 30 days. And the same goes for the user. And on the bottom of the screen, I get to see uh, a little bit of the uh, uh, last five tickets. So I can easily click on one of these ticket numbers if uh, the question is about one of these tickets. Um, and uh, uh, yeah, I can just uh, just help this user a lot, of, a lot faster. Um, but right now it isn't about the last five tickets. So I have to finish making this ticket. On the uh, left side screen of the uh, new ticket screen, you can see a lot of fields which have to be filled. Right now, I can choose to do it manually, but an easier way is to just do it uh, with a template or a speed code right here in the top corner. Um, let's say the user has a question about virus or malware on their PC. I can just select this template and it'll fill in a lot of the fields automatically. So as you can see, the title has been filled in, the description has been filled in, um, or, it, or at least it gives me guidance as, as to which questions I should ask uh, uh, the contact. And also the checklist has been filled. So if I'm not sure how to resolve this ticket, I now have a few actions I can try before I uh, pass this ticket onto one of my colleagues. On the uh, uh, left-hand side of the ticket, you ac can actually see that the status and the priority have been updated and the issue sub-issue sub have been filled. And a lot of the other information also has been filled. So right now I'm done and I get to uh, save my ticket. So I can just click here on save and enter time or save and close if I'm, I don't want to enter time and just close my ticket.